Now this is a very interesting application that you can install on your Mac and use your AI on any tool. But this video is not about promoting Zap. I chose this website to show you this particular feature. When I click on use cases, it just went down. And then when I click on features, it just went down. This is just one page, right? I mean, everything that you see here, it's just one page. I click on pricing, it just went up because pricing is at that zone. But just look at it closely. When I click on testimonial, there's something called hash testimonial comes up. Just look at this address bar. When you click at use cases, this is what happens. When I click at features, this is what happens. So how do you think this really happens? Like I'm gonna inspect this code now. I'm gonna inspect, I think the menu just got merged here. Mm. So, okay, I'll again show you. I'm gonna inspect this part of the code now. So AHREF hash features. So this is called link bookmarks. I'll show you how it's done. So this is a famous lorem ipsum concept. This is nothing but gibberish. I mean, okay, not this. Oh my God. So lorem ipsum is nothing but a gibberish text that is used to fill content in website. Let's say you are planning a website. You don't know how to align that before the text comes in. So and meanwhile what you will do is you will just use the lorem ipsum content which is something like this uh, gibberish content and i'm not uh, oh yeah see this is how it is so this is pretty much uh, lorem ipsum content which is uh, like a placeholder to test test your web pages yeah you could consider that now what i'm going to do is i'm copying this just to make this page a bit longer i mean like take it to the bottom so here tr just have a lorem ipsum content Pre tag. Remember the pre tag? Pre tag to make sure the content is same as in the editor. The content is even shorter here. So, what I'll do is for time being, I'll just make the content longer. will be done in no matter of time I think it should be enough you see now the page has become a bit more than we expected Add another column. Uh, this is where you need to take me. So I'm gonna give a ID to this. Let's say speech. Speech is ID. So ID is some text, you could even give a number, so any text, alphabet, etc. So much, be fine. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a click some place to click. Click say I'll, I'll keep one next to okay. span two because i just have a single cell now so i'm gonna have a anchor tag href should be hash reach take me down see when i clicked here this hash reach is what was approach like say it, it see this is the so it it knows the html knows the browser knows that where is this? So it knows that there is a id called reach now when you click at it you know that the location it has to go to is the place where this id called reach is so that's how it's done let's say you have a different html page so there you have to take it to a set uh, a particular zone then what you need to do is you have to mention that html's name and then that id whatever id is in that page now i know uh, we have a, a sample here sample is a bit small why not make it big like this like a lot of maximum content okay let me add that here okay so let me in this so see so this has gone big let, let me add a id in the middle of lot of maximum so me add a div the the place that you want to reach could be anything so i'm gonna say reach to okay reach to places here okay so what i did was reach to okay now if i haven't given this Let's say this took this out. This took me to sample.html but to the top page is loaded. Okay. But if at all I have this hash reach to I'm gonna refresh it so that this code is being loaded in the browser. So when I take this here, it goes to sample.html and then it moves to the reach to position that's how you could use a link bookmark 